All right, Thomas again here with another video for Artists and Sound. So um, I have created all the snippets that we need for the entire show. Turns out we needed 61 snippets and I set them up in here and then assigned them to cues and went through the script to mark each spot where the next cue needs to be advanced. Um, so now the next thing to do is to load this show, to save the show. So when you're doing it on a computer, it's always a good idea to save the show. And the way that works is you go in here and uh, from the cues window, show control from the cues, I, I think this is actually, no. All right. It's actually only in the cues, uh, in the cues tab of the show control window. You see down here, you see import and export buttons. This is very important. So the export button is the one you want to use. Make sure you name the show first and then export it. And then you want to select a folder because this looks like it's going to save it only as, um, as a single file, but that is not true. It's actually going to save it as a whole bunch of files. And I've, I've already done it. So I'm going to just show you um, what this looks like. here so you see this is scene it saves the whole thing as a as a scene so what this does is it does a couple of things it saves the entire board settings as scene and that is also and then okay so that's actually not quite true so the problem here is it saves a show and it saves the scenes that happen to be in here. So you have to be careful with this. This may or may not pertain uh, to what you have going on. So well, I'll fix that. But as I'm showing it to you here, let me just uh, finish it off. So, so what happens is it saves, let me organize this by file types here. So it saves a bunch of snippets scenes so the scenes are these and you see this is a pretty big problem that can be very confusing because what it saves here as scene files is actually the scenes that are in here you see there are six scenes in here numbered from zero to five so zero to five those are the scenes then it saves a show file that is the actual organization of scenes and snippets inside the queue list so this is the show file and then it saves uh it saves a bunch of snippet files you can see there are 61 there so that's all the snippet the snippets in here all right so the the dangerous thing that happens here is that it saves these scenes and if the scenes happen to not be correct that means if you have not saved your board settings as a scene here, then when you import the show into um, into the console from uh, from a USB stick, you can you could end up overriding your entire board settings with whatever is in the first scene in here, and so that is a very dangerous thing. All right, so. Anyway, uh, I'm going to, at the end of this video, I'm going to continue with that. But in the meantime here, so once you've loaded everything in, the next thing to do is to go through the entire show and step through, step by step, um, step through the, the cues here and follow along with your, with your script sitting in front of the board or watching the console here, but it's actually easier and better to do this um, on the board when you're sitting on the console um, and step through each one, each uh, cue here and make sure it lines up with a scene. I mean, lines up with a script so that all the changes that are necessary uh, to happen according to the script actually happen on the on the board. So you need to go through that physically when you're sitting in front of the board and check everything through that everything is correct.
Okay, that's the next step to do. And then once you've done that, you're in good shape. You're ready for a rehearsal, ready for a sound check. And we can go through that um, in another video. All right, good. So let's just go ahead and make sure that this stuff here is cleaned up. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these scenes here. I'm just going to delete them. So we have this cleared out of this show file. Um, otherwise, there's going to be problems that are uncontrollable and confusing later on. All right. So like that. And now let's uh, actually save a scene. Okay, edit the name. All right. Fiddler board settings. All right. Save scene. Whoops. That's interesting. Fiddle board. Let's just do it like this. Fiddle board. Okay. Goodness. Save it again. All right. So now. Let's call up mute all and let's go into the scenes again and save that again. That way we have it. All right, good. All right, now I like it. Okay, very good. So now we're gonna export the whole thing again and clean this up. So Fiddler, I'm, I created a Fiddler X32 uh, folder and inside of that a show folder. And here's the Fiddler show. I'm gonna save it and it's gonna come complain but that's fine i'm going to overwrite it and now we're going to double check it on the in on the board here ah rats see this is even worse so no i guess i guess this is fine so now if i if i load the if i import the show no if i'm imp if i import the show what happened? What will happen is that these scenes here will get imported. So I'm actually going to delete them from here. So these are these are things that can go wrong. You have to really have some experience with the quirkiness. This is almost like a like a bug of the uh, X32 edit uh, software. Um, and so you know it is what it is. I'm actually going to knock the. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to knock everything out from here go to a clean slate document here or a clean slate folder. See, everything here is still there, this is fine. So we're gonna export the whole thing again, one more time in here and Fiddler show, there you go. There you go. So now I have one scene. That's the only scene that I've saved here as the board settings. And I have Fiddler show, which is the queue list. And then I have a file for each snippet and there are 61 of them, and that lines up with the snippet uh, snippets that I've created here. Okay, so now we're safe. Now we're good to go to import the whole thing into the board and take it from there.